types of clouds. There are a wide variety of cloud types, but we are going to focus on the three main types. You will see others mentioned in other places. We're not going to worry about those. So we're going to look mainly at the basics of clouds. So the first type that we're going to look at are called cirrus. And as you can see in the structure, they're very wispy or feathery. Of now let's take some of this away here. Or feathery. And so uh, these look like very fine, uh, feather-like clouds. These are usually very high altitude clouds, which means that they may have uh, more ice crystals than water droplets. These occur before a front arrives. We haven't talked about fronts yet, but fronts usually have a, a sloping profile, and so the first part of the front is up at very high altitude, and that's usually where you're going to get the cirrus clouds taking place. So this is kind of a warning of uh, change of weather. Cumulus clouds. The word cumulus uh, means piled. And so these look like clouds where stuff has been piled up on top of each other. And uh, so these are often fluffy. Uh, these are kind of mid altitude. So not nearly as high up as the cirrus clouds. And you're going to get cumulus clouds on warm, humid days because you've got that warm air rising. That's what gives you that height. So the height is from rising warm air. Of course, these are the clouds that, you know, warm summer day, laying down outside, look for shapes. Oh, that one looks like a horse or a duck or whatever. These are also the ones that can become severe. So, you know, nice and pleasant looking now, add some more water in there, get them nice and dark, and suddenly these turn into cumulonimbus, and that's your rain clouds. Uh, so that's an example of a more complicated cloud type where it's combining structure of both cumulus and nimbus clouds. Nimbus just means that there's rain in it. Stratus clouds, these are the lowest altitude. And these are the ones flat and drab. So dreary days, these are the clouds associated with that. And so in this picture, you can see, you know, it's just blah looking, this swath of clouds just solid across the sky. These are the clouds that bring you steady rain or snow, depending upon the time of year and the temperature. Um, these are largely associated with warm fronts, whereas the uh, cumulus clouds are more frequently associated with cold fronts. And so these are the kinds of days when you just want to lay in bed all day. That's a stratus cloud. So these are the kind of the three main kinds of clouds that you encounter. 
and the kind of weather associated with each.